Brian, your mama said she went that homework done before you go to bed. Travis, my mama did not say that weak ass shit. You just wanted a reason to come over here and threaten me. Right now, you're giving me a reason to ground your smart mouth having ass. On what grounds do you think you can confine me to my room? Oh, well, let's see. I, I pay the mortgage in this house. I'm taking care of everybody in this house. So, yeah, I can ground your little ass. Okay, you sprinkle change around the house. Big deal. It does not give you the power to open your mouth and speak to me. <laughs> Brian, do I look like the type of stepdad that's going to go back and forth with the stepson? No, I'm going to just call your mama. My homework will be done before I go to bed, Travis. 10-4, that's a good copy. Savon? Travis? Now, I know you ain't got no job and shit, and you know, you, you, you broke and living off your mama and shit. So I took it upon myself to get you a couple of interviews lined up at uh, 7-Eleven, Sefco, and Chevron. Are those gas stations? No, they're restaurants, dumbass. What do I look like working at a gas station? Oh, I don't know. A man with a job? I'm not working at no gas station. Then I'll get your mama to kick your big grown ass out the house. That's one less mouth I gotta feed. My mama ain't gonna kick me out. Oh, but just the right amount of dick, and I can get your mama to kick all three of y'all out. Keep playing with me. Yo, Travis, is there a reason you didn't come pick me up from school today? Curry, don't nobody gotta pick you up from school, boy. You ain't no damn kid. You're a teenager, capable of taking the bus and walking. Okay, bitch, and wait till my mama find out I had to walk home. And she's gonna ask you why you didn't take the bus, stupid. I'm done with this conversation. The last stray dog my mama brought up in here, me and my brother sent his ass back to the pound. You'll be next. Travis, all you have to offer my mama is back shots and money. <laughs> and all y'all have to offer y'all mama is a headache, a stroke, and some damn grandkids. I wonder which one of us she'll get rid of first. My mama ain't choosing no man over her kids, Travis. Oh, well, let's talk about the type of kids that Tamika Jackson has. Her oldest is a bum with a kid that she takes care of. Her middle child is gay, and that alone is a bit much. And her youngest child is the most disrespectful child on the planet. All three of y'all should have been swallowed. Wow. I can't wait to tell my mom the shit you say to us. And I can't wait to lay her down and make her forget. Now finish that homework, little motherfucker, before I send your ass to a gay conversion camp. Yo, Travis, don't get too comfortable in this house. You've only been here a month. Savon, I'm so comfortable. I ate y'all snacks in the pantry. I'm so comfortable. I'm going to talk to y'all mama about claiming all three of y'all on my taxes. You can't claim me. I'm 19. With no pot to piss in. Savon, you can't even claim yourself. Shut up. Who's next? I hate you. I hate you too. All three of y'all, as a matter of fact. Kyrie, if you got any homework, I suggest you start doing it now. I ain't doing shit. Kyrie, I will break your PS5. Do I look like a back and forth stepdaddy to you? Shut up! Savon, you will show up to these little interviews or you will no longer live here. Travis, I will beat your ass. I tell you what. I'm going to rip all the TVs in this house off the wall and break them if you say any other word besides yes, sir. Oh, there goes my queen right there. Hey, baby. Oh, no, no, no. I'm chilling. They good. They just sitting in here getting on my nerves and shit. I got Brian and Kyrie doing their homework and Savon about to look for some jobs so he can get the fuck out. He give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Janice, he is cheating on you. He give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? So you're the only one around here who can have a man? This ain't got nothing to do with my man. He give you good life? He give you good dick? Why would you leave? Why would you leave?
Mama, Travis gotta go. Mama, that man didn't pick me up from school all week. I had to walk home. So why didn't you take the bus? That man did say you would say that. Mama, he called me a bum. Hmm. He told me he was gonna send me to a gay conversion camp. He gave me good life. Now that is where I draw the line. Travis. Yes, my queen. Brian just told me that you told him that you were going to send him to a gay conversion camp. What, would I leave? I did. What makes you think you can send my child anywhere? The thing is, baby, I was just choking. Brian was cussing me out because I told him to do his homework. As a matter of fact, all three of them are cussing me out. They were cussing you out. But I handled it. I handled it. I took care of it. So you don't have to do anything else. Do not joke about my son's sexuality ever again. I got gotcha. you. Now, boys, I know that y'all are not used to a man being in a house, especially one that tells y'all what to do. No, which is why he got to go. Well, he is not going anywhere anytime soon. I actually enjoy Travis, and this is my house. And I want him in my house. I have catered to everybody my entire life and have got nothing in return. It is time for me to do what makes me happy. And Travis makes me happy. Ma, this man is trying to force me to get a job. Savan, what is wrong with you having a job? You have a child. Do you expect me to pay child support for your son until he is 18? Yes, you're the grandmother. That's what you're supposed to do. Stupid. Stupid you are. You better go to those interviews that he's scheduled or else. Or else what, mama? Or else I'll have my man escort you out of my house. And mama don't want to, but I will. I'm tired of taking care of you, Savon. Brian, your issue was that he tried to get you to do your homework, something that you are supposed to do. I'm not addressing that. Do you have any other questions, comments, or concerns? No. Okay. Kyrie. Man, look, I ain't walking home from school. Then get on the damn bus or ride a bicycle. Did you have any other issues with Travis? Yes. That's too damn bad. Travis is here to stay. And y'all need to learn how to coexist with him. He give me good life. Get out of my house, Janice. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Travis, I need you and the boys to click. And I've been thinking about ways to make that happen. So, a family trip to Six Flags might do the trick. We could try it. Okay. Boys! Good morning. Good morning from the three of us. Oh, so your brothers can't speak for themselves? No, I will be speaking for the three of us. Okay. Well, I'd like all of us to go on a family trip. Me and your mother were thinking about taking you out of Six Flags. We thank you for the invitation, but we will have to politely decline. And why is that? Because, mother. We simply don't have the desire to go. Well, y'all don't have a damn choice. Y'all are going. Mom, did you forget that me and Kyrie are still in high school and can't afford to miss any school? I mean, it just started. This will be happening next weekend. <clears throat> <clears throat> next weekend, we will be at our father's house spending time with him and Karen. Hey, baby. It's okay. 
They'll come around eventually. You know what? Y'all are not going to your father's house next weekend. Y'all will be spending time with me and Travis. Mom, if you are forcing us to go, then we will. But as stated earlier, we do not have the desire to go. So we will be silent the entire trip. Get the door or get one of your other brothers to do it. <laughs> I'll get it. Why are y'all here? Trust me, I didn't want to come. Then why the fuck did you? Because Tara was driving. I had no choice. Well, you have one right now. Turn your ass around and leave the way you came in. Tamika, we haven't spoken to you in months. So fucking what? We have gone years without speaking. It didn't bother you then. You haven't even had the decency to call and check on mama. She hasn't been much of a decent mother, so why would I be a decent daughter? But you know what? <laughs> Humor me. How is your mother's health? The chemo appears to be working. And you know this because you've gone to each and every appointment with her and held her hand through the process, or that's just what she calls and tells us. That's you. what she calls and tells us, and I believe her. Okay. Tamika, stop. I am also here because Brian has been telling me that your little boyfriend, who is five years younger than you, has been really ugly to them. The boys have been disrespectful towards me and I made the mistake of arguing back with them. I'm not innocent, but I've already been addressed. Not that that was any of your business. My sister and her kids are my business. And my responsibility. So you and the other one can leave. My name is Tanya. Oh, I didn't ask what your name was. Tara, you and Tanya can get the hell out of my house now. You know what I will. I really only came to check on my nephews, you know, since you're out here choosing men over them. Better than me choosing men who choose my daughter every time. That was low. I can go lower if you'd like. <laughs> And for the record, I will never choose no damn man over my kids on any day of the week. They're just not used to seeing me with a man. No, they're used to seeing me yelling at them for every single fuck up they make. So don't you ever try to charge me up about what goes on in my damn house. I wasn't trying to charge you up. You couldn't, even if you had a damn plug. Now get out. Okay, because what did they think they was going to come up here and do? Right. We'll go to Six Flags. <laughs> Y'all had no choice in the matter. But I'm glad you came to your senses for your brothers. Now get the fuck out of my kitchen. All three of y'all. All right, baby, my mama's on the way over here. Travis, are you sure it's not too soon to be meeting your mom? I mean, I don't I don't necessarily have a, a good track history from, you know, meeting moms. Oh, baby, it'll be fine. Yeah, but did you tell your mom about our age difference? No, I didn't tell her anything because I wanted her to meet you and form her own judgment. See, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. Because if she does decide to judge, then I'm gonna decide to react and it won't be good for either one of us. Oh, baby, my mama would love you to show her that you're a respectful woman and you're polite. I'm not any of that. I need you to be that today because that's what I told her you were. Mom, this is my girlfriend, Tamika. Tamika, this is my mom, Ida. <clears throat> it's... It's nice to meet you. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about you. Oh, you're such a nervous little thing. It's okay. Calm down, honey. When did you meet my son? Oh, we we met two months ago. Uh, two months ago, and he's already living with you and paying all the bills? 
by choice he is. I, I didn't ask him to do that. This is a very large house for just two people. Do you have any children? I do, I, I have three. Three? Three. Oh, Travis, you missed that major detail. I didn't think it was that important. How old are these children? Oh, they, they grown, mama. Define grown, and exactly how old is your girlfriend, Travis? The boys are 19, 17, and uh, 16. Oh, that's interesting. How old are you, Tamale? Who's Tamale? Or oh, is that not your name? It's Tamika. What did I say? You said Tamale. Then that's what it is. How old are you? I'm 40. 40? Travis, what are you doing with this older woman? You do know my son is 35 years young with no children. Older woman? He has no business being with you. Do your children have the same father or different dads? I was married to their father. You were married. What happened? Mom, with all due respect, that's none of your business. That's personal. Oh, it's fine, Travis. It's fine. <laughs> he cheated on me and decided to unmarry me and marry her. Well, what did you do wrong? You clearly did something wrong for him to cheat on you. Mom, I need you to stop being disrespectful right now. Fine. How are your sons adjusting to my son? They're adjusting. You know what, that, that's great, that's great. Travis, he likes fixing things. You know, he I've seen him fix several women that were older than him, such as yourself. You know, women that were broken. Broken? Am I broken, Travis? I never said that. Ma, I never said that. You didn't have to. She's 40, divorced with three kids. I mean, it's a perfect project for you, Pro Travis. Project. Ma, that is not true. He will fix you, build you up, whatever you want to call it, and then he'll move on to the next broken woman for his project. Oh, Travis, don't spare her feelings. She can handle it. I mean, she's mature. And old enough to handle it. <laughs> Let me tell you something, bitch. Wait a minute now. Don't call me a bitch. Bitch! Your son does 360s and my coochie. That is one of the reasons I allow him to stay here. Oh, does he? Your son has spent a great amount of money on me and my three kids. Another reason I allow him to stay here. Oh, has he? So I ain't nobody's fucking project. I met him at Walmart and he was flirting hard. And you know what? A bitch can get lonely at times. So I decided, I decided to let him entertain me. Is that so? It is. So when I get tired of looking at him, then he can move on to another woman. But he will only move on if I say so. Now, did you have any other questions for me, Idaho? I'm sorry, who is Idaho? Is that not your name? No, it's Ida. Well, what did I say? You said Idaho. Then that's what it is. Travis, as you are escorting your mother out of my house, Please let her know that I wasn't as disrespectful as I could have been. And I want her to appreciate that. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to enjoy watching my son leave you in pieces. I'm the type of bitch that does not like to ask twice for somebody to leave my house. Travis? Come on, Ma.
It was nice meeting you. So there was an altercation between the two of you that apparently... Vanessa, who exactly told you that you were in charge of this conversation in my house? Does it matter who opens the discussion, Tamika? I invited you and your daughter into my home to discuss this matter between her and Savon. So let's discuss. I am not ready to speak yet. I am still collecting my thoughts. So shut up. Girl, not you still holding on to that little tussle we got into three years ago. Little tussle. Beloved. I injured you. You went to the ER for that neck. That neck that still looks stiff today. Okay. How about you let bygones be bygones? Do I look like I'm the type of bitch to let a bye be gone? Ma, y'all forgetting why we're here. You know what? I was trying to come here and not automatically point the finger. But since you want to be ignorant, you want to tell me why your son put his hands on my daughter? Miss Vanessa, that's not what happened. That is how it happened, Savon. How did I end up from one side of the room to the other? How did I end up with a busted lip? I need to know why it happened, Savon. No, what I need to know is why from the both of you. What started this? Go ahead and tell them. It doesn't matter what started it. Savon, you put your hands on my daughter. Your daughter put her hands on my son. She was defending herself. He was defending himself. Versace, did he hit you first? Yes, he did. No, I didn't. She knocked my phone out of my hand and then she choked me, Mama. I wouldn't lie to you. Mama, I wouldn't lie to you. He hit me, so I hit him back. Describe how he hits you and how it made you fly across the room. You know what? I do not like the way you are questioning my daughter right now, Tamika. Oh, I don't give a fuck. How did he make you fly across the room, Versace? By him hitting me. No man should hit a woman, Tamika. No woman should hit a man. Except he hit me first. No, I didn't. I wouldn't give you my phone. And what was on the phone, Savon? None of your business. Who swung first? She did. He did. Savon, my daughter would not lie to me. Vanessa, you finna piss me off. Versace has faked pregnancies, DNA tests, and eyelashes. Okay, and your son is no damn better. He ain't the worst either. You know what? How could you as a black woman stand there with a black son and tell me and my black daughter that her assault does not matter? Oh, I ain't trying to hear all that black shit. This ain't no BET movie, bitch. Start from the beginning, Versace. He was on his phone texting, and I knew it was another bitch, so I asked for his phone. Okay. Savon, what did you do when she asked for your phone? I ignored her. Oh. And that must have pissed you off, Versace, because how dare he? Right, because I knew he heard me the first time when I asked. So, uh, what happened next? I asked for it again, and he got mad. And then what did he do? He put his hands on me. You lying bitch. Savon, you better watch your damn mouth. Vanessa, I will eat you up right now. Well, bon appetit, bitch. Mom. Mom. Versace press charges. I'm good. Um, I think Savon learned his lesson. Hmm, very safe decision, Versace. Press charges, Savon. I'm, I'm actually good, Mama. Okay. <sighs> I'm leaving. So y'all want to fuck each other up, make it everybody else's problem, and then get back together? It's very much toxic behavior and I don't have time for it. Get it the fuck away from me. Shit, and me. You wanna grab a drink? I 
I guess not. All right, boys, I got y'all support cards. Um, who's first? Brian. All ace, as expected. Let's read some of the teacher's comments. Mrs. Jackson, you are raising one intelligent human being. Brian is smart, brilliant, and his future looks promising. I don't have any students who have a four-year scholarship to Harvard in my class, so I am honored to have Brian in my class. You know, I have always been proud to be your mama. Auntie, I think it should be getting my report cards now. I did switch over to my guardian. Let's see. Oh, yep, Genesis. Here we go. All A's and one B. Mm -mm, how disappointing. Genesis, this class you have a B in. Talk to me about it. It's a college class. They only offer it to students who've passed their stellar exam during their sophomore year in high school. I believe Brian took the same exam, but what were your test results again? It's a college class. Me and 10 other students didn't pass. It was an exam, not a class. And how unfortunate that you failed that exam. I passed with flying colors though. Aunt Tamika, that is a very challenging class. To have anything under a C could get you removed. So for me to have a B in that type of class, the same type of class that they offer at schools like Harvard, is amazing. Would you mind reading my teacher's comments, Aunt Tamika? Mrs. Jackson, Genesis is a very well-educated student of mine who I highly recommended to five major colleges due to his extremely high test scores in my class. Most students who take my class average a C or C minus. Genesis has maintained a B for the past semester, making his score the highest in my class. He is definitely going places. Hey, that's my nephew. I could have passed that class, and yet you did not. I still have a four-year scholarship to a college that doesn't even know you exist. And yet all my teachers recommended me to not just Harvard, but four other top colleges in the United States. Mm -hmm. Great. Did you get a phone call back? Did you get a letter in the mail? Is it official? I have not yet, but I will. This conversation has expired. Mom, can you read my little brother's report card? Boys, you both are doing great in school. Keep up the good work. All right, Kyrie, there are no scores. It, there's a comment though, it says, Mrs. Jackson, Kyrie's scores were so low that I was embarrassed to email them to you. Please stop by my office so we can further discuss. Kyrie, what the fuck is the issue? Why, why are you cussing at me? School is not for me, I wanna drop out. So damn bad. What do you need from me as a mother to get you back on track? Because 20 parent-teacher conferences in one damn year is insane. So withdraw me. You don't like seeing these teachers? Neither do I. Where did I go wrong with you? Find out where grandma went wrong with you, and then you'll find out where you went wrong with me. You know what it is? I don't beat your ass enough. That's what it is. You want to be like your older brother? You want to be a high school dropout? One kid, no job, no pot to piss in. Yes, mama, I want to be just like Savon. How about you homeschool me? I'm tired, mama. I don't want to be in school. I hate everyone there. You are not there for everybody, Kyrie. You are there to get your damn high school diploma. We have got to figure something out because I am tired. That is enough. You are in your sophomore year in high school and you have not progressed. Remove me from school. That is out of the question. Well, then you're going to continue to stress about my performance in school because it's about to get worse. Jesus, I know I have not lost control of my child. No, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I'll tell you what, when Travis gets home, me and him are going to discuss what we're going to do with you. Because that is enough. Ma, Travis is a damn kid himself. And you're old enough to be his mama. So don't be going to talk to one of your other kids about me. Mama, how long is Genesis staying with us? Brian, I am actually in the process of becoming Genesis's legal guardian, so he will be here for a while. I need to make a phone call.
Is it a problem? Is it? I'm asking you. Just stay the fuck out of my way or you'll end up like the last cousin that stayed here. Brian, I know you're used to thinking you're the smartest grandchild out of all of us. That must have been hard for you to admit. While I'm in your house, I'm going to make sure I humble you every chance I get. Spell humble. How about you look deep within yourself and find it first before you ask somebody how to spell it? You know what I can find deep down inside me? My parents, who are very much still alive and breathing. And that was just a small taste of how disrespectful I can get. So during the duration of your stay, watch your fucking mouth. And don't you ever try to compete with me in front of my mom. Kyrie, get your shit together. Mind your motherfucking business. Hey, Auntie, I was wondering if it was possible to share a room with one of the boys. Is there something wrong with the couch upstairs? Oh, it's, it's just slightly uncomfortable, you know, hurts my back sometimes. But Auntie, I'm very much grateful and I don't mean to complain. No, it's fine. I know that couch can be quite uncomfortable. Kyrie still has his bunk beds in his room, so I'm sure he won't mind. Well, I thought that maybe me and Brian can share a room because we are the same age. But then again, I don't want to mess up what he has going on every other night. What does he have going on every night? Oh, his boyfriend? He sneaks in every other night. What fucking boyfriend? Oh, auntie, I don't think I was supposed to tell you. I'm sorry. But please don't tell him I told you. That'll just make him hate me more. You know what? I think you and Brian sharing a room is a great idea. Brian! Mama, why do you be yelling? It is so unnecessary. You are not outside. You and Genesis will be sharing a room. The hell we are! Who the fuck are you talking to like that, Brian? I would knock your head off your shoulders! <sighs> <laughs> Where is he gonna sleep, mama? Y'all are cousins, so you will share the bed. Uh, Kyrie has a bunk bed. It would make more sense for him to sleep in his room. I'm about to get rid of Kyrie's bunk bed and buy him a single bed. Now, like I said, you and Genesis will be sharing a room. Was there anything else? I don't know. Was there? I don't know. You tell me. You called me down here. Ryan, don't get fucked up. Don't get fucked up. Go upstairs and make space for your new roommate. <sighs> okay, mama. From now on, you will be my eyes and my ears. Yes, ma'am. Now, I could have sworn I locked my doors. Brian let us in. Of course he did. Now let yourselves out. Mika. Genesis, go upstairs for a minute. Yes, ma'am. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Auntie. Why are y'all here? Gabriella's death was devastating. I haven't had time to process it. You know, it happened so fast and she wasn't my blood sister, but she was my sister. Like I said, everything happened so fast and I just found out that, you know, she made you Genesis's legal guardian. So my question is, how long do you plan on keeping him? And what all did she put you in charge of? Why do you care? Your stepdaughter, you know, the one that just died and you didn't come to her funeral, she told me that if anything happened to her, that he was mine. So I'm keeping him forever. <sighs> That's fine. I don't care about all that. Where's the money she left for him? Mama, that is not why we are here. <laughs> See, I'm not stupid. I knew that you or somebody else was going to come after that money. 
That money is in an account that only Genesis will have access to when he turns 18. Oh, I can tell that pissed you off. You weren't expecting that. <laughs> How's your cancer? She was my damn stepdaughter, so I'm gonna need some of that damn money. Tammy, Gabriella hasn't liked you since her father, your eighth husband, died of natural causes, which is why she didn't leave Genesis with you and left him with me, because she didn't trust your trifling ass to do the right thing with that money. Tamika, you out of all people should know I don't play by my money. Now that's $300,000 that you better go get for me. Or what? Damn it, Tamika, don't make me do something that I'm going to regret. Do what you gotta do, Tammy, but calm down. Don't upset that cancer. Uh, both of you, please stop. I need that money. You know what? I'm starting to wonder if anybody has actually asked you this, but what type of cancer do you have? A daughter. Named Tamika. Oh, oh, well, you're going to have it a long time because there is no amount of chemo in the world that can get rid of me. Tamika, I'll take Genesis off your hands. Tanya, shut up. And what are you even doing here? What you going to do with a 17-year-old boy? I already have one, so I know what I'm doing. Genesis is fine and he ain't going nowhere. Thank you. Let me have him. Why? What you going to do with him? Tell me why. Exactly. Shut up. Give me my child. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> what in the Talapuri is going on? You remember when you didn't see me for nine months? I wasn't ready to be a mother. And Gabriella, she couldn't get pregnant. She had a family, husband. So I let her have him. Hmm. Well, you made the right choice, giving him up because you clearly are not fit to be anyone's mother. And Genesis is 17. So 17 years ago when you had him, that was around the time that you slept with my ex-husband. Tanya, if I found out that you and my ex-husband have a child together, you will cease to exist. I just want my son. You ain't getting a damn thing. You will have to take me to court. And even then, you don't stand a chance, bitch. And you, you ain't getting no damn money. It ain't up to you. Oh, but it is. I'm his legal guardian. And I think both of you are starting to forget that. Don't shit move with him unless I say so. I ain't got to do shit. He's mine. Mine. Well, I'm his mother. Spell it. Go spell it. Mother. M-O-T-H-O-R. <laughs> Get out. Tamika, this isn't over. I'm coming for my child. Spell it. Child. C-H-I-L-E-D. Oh, this is great. I want you to act just like this in court. Dumb. Tell you bring your dumb ass. To make this isn't over. Y'all should really call before y'all come next time. It has been a very long time since I've seen condom wrappers in my house. Until now. Ma, I don't even use condoms.
Savon, this has nothing to do with you because I actually found this in Brian and Genesis' room. First of all, mama, it is still my room. Genesis is just pest that I cannot control. Second, that is not mine. Well, if it doesn't belong to you, then it means it belongs to Genesis. Auntie, I would never disrespect your house like that. I wouldn't even have time to do anything like that in Brian's room without being caught. Me either. Ever since you forced yourself into my room, I have not been able to have any privacy. Privacy for fucking what? Just general privacy. Privacy for what? Cut the shit, Brian. I know that little boyfriend of yours has been in my house every other night. Even if that were true, I wouldn't be dumb enough to leave a condom wrapper in plain sight. But you're dumb enough to sneak a boy in. Why were you in my room anyway, mama? I didn't know I needed permission to enter any room in a house that I pay mortgage in. You technically don't pay the mortgage. Travis does. Brian LaShawn Jackson, that mouth of yours has become a problem. It's a problem because my mom has become toxic. Ma, can I use the car? <laughs> I'm toxic because I'm getting to your ass about shit. You still have a problem with me being gay. Oh, you love pulling that pathetic ass car. I don't care nothing about you being gay. I have a problem with you having underage sex in my house. You don't have no proof, mama. Genesis is the one who told me that you'd be sneaking a boy in my house every other night. So whoever this little boy is, I want you to bring him to my house with his parents so I can tell them what I found in your room. And then I can tell them where he's at every other night. I'm not doing that. You will, or I'll go up to your school and find him myself. You know, at first, I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off. Getting a condom, taking the condom out of the package, leaving the package on the floor for your mom to find, getting her to believe that it was yours and not mine. I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off, but I did. Genesis, do you, do you got a death wish? Shut up, Savannah, before I tell your mama you've been selling drugs out of her house. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You have no idea who you're fucking with. Then show me. Okay. Kyrie! Who oh, are you not got Tupac in my butt? Do I? Don't need no clock, got Tupac in my butt. I need you to do something. Tupac, for Tupac, me. Tupac, Tupac, Tupac. How many times I'ma have to park it up, pay your crib a visit? Too many times niggas gon' block they license plate, that for a rent. Glasses tinted. I got them panicking. I need my money as well. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You can ask, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Mrs. Jackson, please don't make this difficult for yourself. Mr. Brown, please don't make this difficult for you. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to call security. You sure have been afraid to make a lot of decisions since we started this conversation, Mr. Brown. I need security to my office, please. <laughs> that does not scare me. Where are they at? Which way are they coming from so I can meet them halfway? Mr. Brown, is everything okay? Mrs. Jackson is having trouble accepting my decision to expel her son from the school. Ma'am, the decision is final. Right, and who are you? My name is Tamara. Tamara, okay. And which department do you work in? I'm his secretary. You're a secretary. Tamara. You don't get paid enough to handle a hostile parent like me. So return to your desk and remain unharmed. Excuse me? Yes, you may be excused. I'm calling security. Oh, could you? Because I have been waiting for the longest. I mean, do I even want my child at a school where it takes this long for security to get to the incident? Brown to any available security personnel. On second thoughts, this school does not seem like a safe place to have my child at. So, I'll go ahead and withdraw him. Mrs. Jackson, you cannot withdraw your son because he has been expelled from the school. Okay, we'll spell him back and then withdraw him.
Travis, can I have a moment with my sister, please? No, you cannot have a moment in my house. You are just a guest who pays bills. You don't own shit. Travis, give us a moment. You need to start putting him in his place. Tara, don't come in my house telling me what to do with my man. <laughs> my man. Well, you never really had one, so try real hard not to lose this one. Like the several men you have lost to your teenage daughter. Oh my God, please stop. Both of you. So Tanya, tell me about Genesis. She has a right to be in her son's life. Tara, stop acting stupid. Tanya is a whore. She is not fit to be anybody's mother. Wow. Wow. Genesis is 17, Tanya. You gave him up 17 years ago. And during that time, you did not reach out to him. Now that he's borderline 18 years of age, you want to be a part of his life? Bitch, you have missed half of it. He had a mother who passed away. And I don't feel right about my older sister stepping in. I feel like it is my responsibility to step in. Tara, tell her. <laughs> I already shut you down in front of your mama. I don't know what you thought bringing your sister here was going to do. Okay, granted. Genesis is damn near grown. But what you don't know, Tamika, is that one of Gabriella's dying wishes was for him to know who his biological mother was. Oh, she didn't make that damn bullshit ass dying wish. Shut up, Tara. Yes, she did. And you need to honor it. I ain't got to honor a motherfucker. I am going to try to explain this to both you dumb, oblivious ass bitches the best way I can. I'm dumb, but I have my high school diploma, a college degree, and I'm a lawyer. You have a GED, three kids, and a nine to five. And a man who wants me and not my children. Tara, your daughter just gave birth to your granddaughter slash stepdaughter that she had with your fiance. He is not the father. Great, he still slept with her. She was lying. That is the same exact shit mama said about us with Earl. Baby, is everything all right? Can you get out, please? Don't yell at my man because you just figured out that you're a horrible mother, Tara. My man, my man. Damn, at least act like you've had one before, Tamika. But you're a mom who had to use her daughter to keep a man. Tamika, that is enough. You are hitting below the belt. And I don't think I'm hitting low enough. Genesis just lost the only mother that he knew, and he is still grieving. Do you think it's a good idea to tell him that the mother that he just lost was not his real mother? If you gave an ounce of fuck about Genesis, you would let him heal and then we can revisit this conversation at a later date. Fine. Find my ass because you now have two bridges to cross. Telling Genesis that you're his biological mother and then telling my ex-husband that he might be the biological father. We will never be the same after this conversation. Tara, you're a bad mom. Start listening to your daughter when she says that your boyfriends are sleeping with her. Oh, you ignorant bitch. I cannot stand you. Then hop over this counter and whoop my ass. An impossible task to accomplish. Get the fuck out of my house, both of you. All right, Ma. This is my Christmas list for this year. No, I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. But, well, damn.
And did you fall and hit your head on something? Because what type of year have you had, Kyrie? <laughs> Ma, I'll be chilling. You're the one who'll be chilling. Your grades are trash. Your mouth is reckless. And your behavior is... Top tier. Out of control. Period. Period what, Brian? I'm just saying. Mama's right. You do have a bad attitude, Kyrie. Oh, watch this. Mama, did you ever meet that boy he be sneaking in the house? What the entire fuck? Watch your damn mouth, Brian. Ma. Did you forget that you told Brian to bring that boy and his parents over so you can tell them that their son has been sneaking in your house, messing around with your son? Ma, focus on him. He is trying to change the topic. And that situation is far from over. I haven't forgotten. But I'll deal with that later. You ain't getting shit for Christmas, but a damn Merry Christmas and maybe a Christmas dinner. You know what, Mama? You sure do judge me a lot. You call it judging. I call it parenting. Hmm. What about moral compass? What about it? You clearly don't have it. Neither do you. What the hell are you talking about, boy? I'm talking about Genesis and his biological mother. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Really, mama? Really? Really, mama? You know what? I am protecting his feelings. And how the hell did you find out about that, Kyrie? Come on, mama. You and your sisters don't know how to use y'all's inside voices. I'm sure the neighbors heard y'all arguing about it, too. So Genesis was adopted? Mm, not quite. Shut up, Kyrie. When you taped that paper back up that I gave you, that you crumbled up, then I might let my top lip meet my bottom. Oh, hey. I am not your brothers. I am your mama. You will not blackmail me. I will hurt you. Yes, that is very true. But the way I'm about to sing, a canary is no match for me. I'm about to run my mouth like water if you do not comply. Kyrie, who do you think I am? That holding shit over people's head? That don't work on me? I am your mother. I have kept you alive for 16 years, and I will take you out. Ah, uh, Mama, come on. You ain't got to get all inspirational on me. Just give me what I ask for Christmas, and we'll be okay. Your secret will be safe with me. I ain't getting you a damn thing, little boy. You're out of your simple-ass mind. Hmm. I wonder what state of mind Aunt Tanya was in when she decided to give Genesis up to Aunt Gabriella. Oh, wait a damn minute. Wait a... Oh, my God. Brian... I know how you feel about that boy, but you would not say a damn thing to that boy or I will. Let me see my new boyfriend in peace. Is is that what you'll do? Oh, y'all both got me fucked up. What, what do I look like? Am I not y'all's mama? I am not one of y'all. Y'all not finna handle me like that. I'm just saying, if that information were to get out from me and Kyrie, I think that boy would need a lifetime of therapy. Uh, yes, I agree. And he just lost his mother, which is not his real mother, he's going to be fucked up for life. But if you told him when you thought he was ready, then I think he'll be okay. You see, I think that is your information to tell, not ours. I guess what I'm trying to say is we will not tell Genesis anything if you keep us happy. This little gang, y'all want to play with me? will not end well for either one of you. Well, it sounds like it doesn't end well for Genesis either. But it does not have to be that way, Mama. Put your pride aside and give us what we want. Let me remind y'all that I gave birth to both of y'all with no pain medication. I am your creator. Challenging me would be very dangerous. All these little tricks and shit, y'all be playing against each other. I taught y'all that. So are y'all sure y'all want to do this? Are you? Okay. As much as I can shut this down right now, I'm not ready to tell that boy this secret. So I'll play along. Kyrie, go ahead and write me up another Christmas list. And Brian, do not have that boy in my house while I am here. When I am gone, then you can sneak him over. I hope y'all are prepared for what happens when all of this is over. Because eventually, I will tell him. And after I do... I'm coming for both of y'all hard because y'all got me fucked up. So I hope y'all know what the fuck y'all doing. <laughs> Where'd my pen go? Kyrie, I think we fucked up.
Stop being a little bitch, Brian. Fuck. Find me a pen. Mom. I have not been able to bring my boyfriend over because you have not gone to work and you agreed that I can bring him over when you weren't here, but you have not left the house. Well, I'm on vacation from work. Oh, how convenient that you decided to take a vacation after our agreement. I'm about to conveniently pop you in your damn mouth if you don't watch it. I'm just saying, Genesis's feelings are on the line. Your life is also on the line. I'd be more concerned about that. Ma, how's my Christmas list coming along? I'm working on it. We'll work a little faster. I'm, I'm trying not to make Savon an only child. What did I miss over the weekend while I was out of town? Travis, please inform my mother that keeping dark secrets has consequences. What secret? He ain't got to inform me of shit. Hey, auntie, can I buy my friend Jessica over? She just lost her dad. And I just want to comfort her a little bit. Mm. I guess you would be the perfect person for her to talk to since, you know, you don't have either parent in your life. Brian! What? Mama, I did not mean that in a malicious way. I was just saying she will be able to relate to him more because his mama is dead and her daddy just died. It's okay, auntie. His hemorrhoids must be sore. You know, you should really start using, um, what do you gay people use? Lube? That was corny. Not really. It's quite disgusting the way you let that young man slut you out behind school buildings, cafeterias, gym locker rooms, science labs. Whoa. You can't sneak him in, so you have to get it anywhere you can, I guess. Brian, you better light his ass up. And after he lights me up, let's talk about who he likes to watch take a shower and your obsession with your pillows and your mom's wigs, Kyrie. I will fuck you up. Save the fuck for your pillows because I am not interested. All right, that's enough. That That's enough. Y'all cut it out. Y'all doing too much. Yes, that's enough. I've heard enough. I don't know what Genesis has on either of you, but I know you both don't want me to know. And that's okay, because this little game of ours is now over. Not quite, because I know you don't want him to know what we know. Which is what? None of your damn tragic business at the moment, Genesis. Now, is it, Mama? Auntie, is, is there something you want to tell me? No. There isn't, baby. Brian, you can invite your friend over. We're beyond friends, but thank you, Mama. Kyrie, I'll start working on that Christmas list. Let it go. All the Christmas presents you want. All the Christmas presents you want. Fuck that Christmas list. Fuck. Aunt Gabriella ain't your fucking mama. Aunt Tanya is. Shit. Kyrie, what the fuck? <laughs> what? what? Type of fucked up shit your family on. Thank you for letting this happen, Tamika. Shut the fuck up. Okay. The only reason it is happening is because Genesis wanted it to happen. So what do you like to do for fun? Tanya, back the fuck up because you jump in a place that he did not give you access to. Genesis, ask your first question. Why'd you give me up? I... I was 20 years old. I was in college. I wasn't fit to be anyone's mother. And you still aren't. However... I thought I was doing what was best for you. You did. See? I knew you would understand. So, what's your favorite food? And you can continue doing what's best for me by continuing to stay out of my life. 
Damn. Damn. If you are not fit to be a mother then, what makes you fit to be a mother now? I'm only 37 years old. I can learn how to be a mother. Well, learn with your next kid because you lost your opportunity with me. Genesis. What do you really want from me? A chance to be your mother. My mother died. You were there when I buried her. I do have one final question for you, though, Aunt Tanya. Can you please not call me Aunt Tanya? That's who I've always known you to be, Auntie. Who is my biological father? I've never had one of those growing up. It's not Michael. Then who is it, Tanya? Look, I was just trying to get back at Mama for what she did to me. You and Tara experienced Earl. I experienced Jimmy. Genesis, go upstairs. Who, who's Jimmy? The name sounds familiar. Isn't Grandma Tammy? Now. Yes, ma'am. Mama's husband, Jimmy? What? I was drunk. I bet you were, you dumb, dizzy, Sloppy, slutty bitch. I have put all that behind me, Tamika. Tanya, you are a hoe with no boundaries or morals. What is wrong with you? Well, aren't you the cow calling the kettle black? It's the pot calling the kettle black, you dumb bitch. When mama finds out that Jimmy, her husband, is Genesis's father, that money that I was protecting from her, she now has access to legally. Oh, damn. Yeah. Why did you do that? Because mama is always ruining stuff for me. She messed up my relationship in college. I was having an affair with my professor and I was passing all my classes every time I gave him some. And she decided to go up there and get him fired. And then he didn't want to talk to me no more. He wanted to go back to his wife. And it just, it made me feel some type of way because I felt like I wasn't bothering her. I wasn't, I didn't mess up her marriage. Well, I did. I did. After she did what she did, I decided to go and mess up her marriage by having a baby by her husband. And then I got rid of the evidence. Disgusting behavior. I am ashamed to be a part of this family, let alone call you my baby sister. You are foul. I am Tammy's daughter and so are you, Tamika, whether you like it or not. She screwed all of us up. We might not be the same type of screwed up, but we're screwed up. We can't tell mama. We cannot tell mama. We would just bury this. It never happened. As far as she's concerned, Michael. Oh, God. I really don't have it. Oh, my God. What's up, ma? Hey, son. I see I missed a lot. You did, but it ain't nothing that mama can't handle. Um, the reason I invited you over here is because I did want to share some good news with you. I, I think I got a, a bit of good news for you, too. What you got? Okay, Jasmine is moving back to Texas permanently. And I cannot wait for y'all to get back together. Well, I gotta tell you something. You know, I really thought you and Versace were gonna work out, but I mean, we know that wasn't gonna work out. I just, I'm ready for Jasmine back because she was my piece. <laughs> she was my piece and she was good for you. And I don't want to hear it. She's the one for you. And when she come back down, I need you to go ahead and propose because I'm ready to plan a wedding.
Who the hell is in my bathroom? Oh, I am so sorry. I had to use the bathroom. Hi. Ma, this is my fiance, Kenya. Kenya, this is my mom. Fiance. It is finally nice to meet you. Siobhan, every time you introduce your bitches to me, they say finally, like they been knew about me. But not once do I remember a single mention of this bitch from you. So who is this? She's my fiance, mama. You said her name was Kenya. So tell me, where did you find this country? At Zell's, where I work. And that was almost a year ago. He wanted to make sure I was actually the one before he introduced me to you. A lot of normal moms would have appreciated that. You got an attitude? Would you like to see one? <laughs> Savon, I don't think I like her. Look, I ain't got time for this, Savon. Jasmine is coming next week, so I need you to wrap this up before she gets here. <laughs> Well, I won't be wrapping anything up. King is pregnant. So I'm about to go to the store. I need you to watch Brian and Kyrie. Tamika, I am not watching your kids. They are not my responsibility. Damn. Not only do I have a toxic mother, but an abusive one too. One that can't aim. Savon, I've been told you you can leave my house whenever you're ready. And go where? Right! So the next time you decide to tell me what you're not going to do, think about where you would go if I kicked you out of my house. I already have plans. Well, they have been delayed. You will watch my children until I get back. Then you can proceed with your plans. Okay, Tamika. Ma, did I just hear you tell Savon he had to watch me and Kyrie? You did hear that, yes. Since when do I need a babysitter? Since your fast ass had a 23-year-old grown-ass man stop by my house looking for he you. He was 25. Your brother is watching you and I am done with this conversation. Can I at least have my phone back? For what? Savannah has a phone and will contact me if there's an emergency. What are we, five? No, but you are an out of control teenager who needs 24 hours supervision. <sighs> Mama is having Savon babysit us. Mama, you can't even control me. What makes you think Savon can't control me? I will beat his ass. Oh, second thought, Mama, leave them with me. I want to see something. Savon, don't you be in here putting your hands on my child. And Kyrie... I will turn you every way but loose. Test it if you want to. He acts like that because you don't put your hands on him enough. Well, come on, ho. Come put your hands on me. Come teach me a lesson. I don't know about a lesson, but I will definitely teach. Never mind. It is clear that I can't leave y'all's asses alone. I just wanted to go to the grocery store so that I can cook dinner. But you know what? Y'all's asses can go ahead and help yourselves to whatever's in the fridge or the pantry. Or y'all can starve. Savon, what you want to do? Mama is still here. Oh my God.
Good morning. Mm, it's really not. Have you decided what school me and Kyrie are going to? You know what, Brian? It is a new year, and I am not dealing with the same nasty-ass attitude you gave me last year. Find you a new and better one. Mama, you moved us away from all our family and friends, and you expect me to have a great attitude about that? I did that for us. You did that for you after finding out that Travis was really gay, Grandma Tammy went to jail, all your siblings testified for her, and you testified against her. Now everyone hates you. That has nothing to do with us. Well, I am really sorry you feel that way. Everything I do is for my kids, whether you accept it or not. Look around you, Brian. Do you know how many kids wish they could live like you? Being stripped away from everything that I love? <laughs> they can have that. How many boys have I chased out of my house after you snuck them in? How many antibiotics have you taken because you think you're in love and don't want to use condoms? You are 17 years old, living under my supervision, acting like a grown-ass man, and you are not. Yes, I stripped you away from everything that was bad for you and gave you a fresh start, and I do not apologize for it. Can I have my phone back? No, the fuck you cannot because you are not about to call my family and tell them where we're at. Mama, I'm not. I just want to be able to talk to my friends. I don't trust you. Savannah and Kyrie got into a fight yesterday after you left the kitchen. That's why you haven't seen them all day. Their faces are, excuse my language, but fucked up. I'll be your personal snitch again if you give me back my phone. You will also stop giving me a hard time about us moving here. Fine. I'm not convinced. I was saving this for a rainy day, but I need my phone. Savon gave his baby mama Kenya our location, and he plans on flying her here so that she would be forced to let her live with us. <sighs> I just thought you should know. Find out everything you know and report back to me. Will do. Hey, Ma, um, can I use the car real quick? For what? Uh, just to meet up with a friend. Lies, we just moved here. You don't have any friends out here, Savon. Was there anything else you needed? You know what, I'm, I'm gonna just take a lift. <laughs> to where? Where are you going? You don't know anybody out here, Savon. Everything you need is inside this house. So where are you taking a lift to? Let me just go ahead and burst your little bubble. I heard that you've been trying to get your little bitch Erica here. And I'm assuming you need the car to go pick her up from the airport. Her name is Kenya. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you don't? Huh. Oh. I intercepted her flight that was supposed to land here in the next 30 minutes. I made sure the little bitch couldn't board the flight. Now she is stuck where you left her. You were going to bring that bitch in my home and not tell me, Savon? Ma, she is carrying your second grandchild. I don't give a fuck. You don't want Versace around? So Kenya won't be coming around either. Tired of dealing with your hoes. 
You know how many bitches I dealt with last year because of you? Do you know how many abortions I have paid for because of you? Mom, this is different. Me and Kenya are engaged. Oh, then go live with her. I can't. She stays with her parents. Interesting. They don't want you living with them, and I don't want her living with me. She is pregnant, mama. You keep saying that as if it's going to make a difference. She nor that baby are coming up in my house. You are more than welcome to go see her or find a way to live with her. But your shit is no longer coming in my house, Savon. I'm tired. Call me a monster. I don't care. You have put me through a lot last year. And I still let you stay with me at your big grown age. And yes, some of it I did allow. But this year, you won't be putting me through a damn thing. I will kick you out first. Oh, and another thing. If you put your hands on my child again, I will put mine on you. Kyrie swung first. I don't give a shit. You're the oldest and I hold you to a higher standard. Keep your hands off of him. Get out of my kitchen. Is this the charger you was crying about? You can have that shit. I'm gonna go buy myself another one. You can't. I'm gonna take that one too. And just like you got your ass beat over that one, you'll get your ass beat over the new one. For some odd reason, you and Savon both think that y'all have whooped my ass. And I'm still trying to find the whoop because it has not made it to my ass. How are you gonna keep my name out your mouth? Savon, Savon, Savon. What happens next? I'll deal with you later. No, deal with me now. Brian, did you tell mama that Kenya was coming down here? Because the only person I told that to was you. It was either that or my phone, and I needed my phone. You would have did the same thing. And you would have squared up with me if I did. So get up and catch this fair one. It actually won't be a fair one because I, I want to get active with him too. Y'all are not about to jump me. Y'all both can line it up and take turns catching these hands down. Curry, sit your bitch ass down. You over here crying about a charger. I got a real reason to fight. Come on, don't be telling me what to sit. Sit your bitch ass down. Bitch, watch your motherfucking bitch ass. Savon, how old are you? How old is Kyrie, mama? And where is he at? Why is he not in here with me? Train him to stay in a child's place because he's making grown man decisions and can't handle grown man ass whoopings. What started the fight? I was really after Brian, since he wants to be your little personal snitch and have you stop Kenya from coming, which you failed at miserably. First of all, Brian is not my little snitch. Second of all, How, what do you mean I failed? How did I fail? The bitch is not here. Excuse me while I go get the door. Who's at my door, Savon? Savon, do you know how much traffic I went through to get here? I know, baby, but I couldn't use the car. And then you had me and your unborn child ride over here in an Uber? What if we got kidnapped? Come on, baby. We will talk about this later. What's the issue? I'm six months pregnant with your grandchild and I'm hearing that you don't want anything to do with me? Oh, now you have nothing to say. Wow. Well, we're engaged. I'm having a baby, his baby, and this is really happening, whether you like it or not. I'm sorry that if me having your second grandchild is making you feel older than what you already are, but that has nothing to do with me. This baby is coming, and you will not separate me or my child from my fiance. Savon, please tell me why 
after I said I did not want her here. She is now in my house. Savon, what are you doing? All that venting that you do? Give it to her. You'll give me anything other than what the fuck I asked you to give me. You're gonna do what? Put your hands on him in front of me? I'll call the cops. Savon, start talking. Savon, don't say a fucking word. Savon, put your mama in her place. Savon, if you attempt to put me anywhere, you will fail and I will successfully put you six feet under. Savon, what? Are you really the man I'm about to marry? You brought me all the way out here for what? Just send me back. Like, you brought me here to watch your mom degrade you? No. Then stand up to her. Tell her what is going to happen from this point on. He ain't gonna tell me a goddamn thing in my motherfucking house. You gonna learn real quick who I am. Tamika, I already know who you are. You are nothing but a maniac of a mother who abuses her sons mentally and sometimes physically. So far, what you been telling this bitch? Feeding her all these lies. What the hell is she talking about? Shut up, both of you. Ma. If you don't want me, my fiance, or my unborn daughter here, then we will leave and you will never see me or your granddaughter again. Period. Kenya, this is my mama. And you will not disrespect her in her own house. I did not bring you here for that. Okay, Savon. Okay. Good job, baby. Nah. My mom about to get active. I hope your mom took her meds today. Baby, I just I just forced you into her life. It's gonna take her some time to come around. Good morning, how are you both feeling? Mom, are you okay? I'm great. What do you guys have going on today? We were going to go clothes shopping for the baby. If you'd like to come. <gasps> I'd love to come. Okay, mama. I'll drive. Sounds good, son. I forgot to ask, can Versace and Louis come with us, Savon? Versace and Louis as in Louis Vuitton? Girl, yeah, she can bring both handbags. Let me wear one. No, my love. I meant his baby mama, Versace, and his firstborn son, Louis. He doesn't have any children. I'm carrying his first child. Do you really have to start making up stuff now, Tamika? I know that's what he told you, my love. But if we're gonna be one big, blended, happy family, I think that that should include Versace. It does not include her, mama, and I wasn't ready to tell her. Wait, you really have a kid with someone else? Mm, talk about living a double life, Savon. Let me properly introduce the two of you. Sachi! Kenya, this is Versace, Savon's first love, and the mother of his firstborn. And by firstborn, she means our three-year-old son. Three, three, three. Oh, calm down, sis. Don't go into premature labor. I'm only just the ex that he's completely obsessed with. Versace, I don't care about you, nor am I obsessed with is you. Is that why you failed to tell Kim Wah about me? Her name is Kenya. Kim Wah, 
Did you know the only reason why you're pregnant and engaged right now is because I refuse to be married and a mother of two? So he went and found the easiest bitch to manipulate into giving him what he wants. Mama, what are you trying to do here? Savon, you seem very upset. I thought you would be excited. I mean, you did open up my home to your fiance. I thought that it would only be fair to open it up to Versace and your son. How could you not be excited about that? I mean, after all, this is my fucking house and I can do whatever I want. So when were you gonna actually tell me, Savon? After I had the baby? After our wedding, after our daughter graduated college. Baby, I'm sorry. What's even more upsetting is that you're already hiding one child and I'm about to bring your second child into this world. Are you going to hide this one too? I mean, what type of father are you? A Debbie, if I needed any advice from the unwanted baby mama, I would have asked. After all, he kept you a secret too. And that is nothing to be proud of. Stay safe and pregnant, sis, because the last thing you need is for me to come over this counter. Was that a threat? You street rat? Street rat? That's a new one. Question. Have you ever seen a tiger viciously attack its prey? No, I haven't. You haven't? Watch closely. <laughs> Bitch, I said no violence. The fuck, she pregnant with my granddaughter. She called me a fucking street rat. And you know none of his bitches gonna disrespect me. I slap all his bitches. You touch her and I'll kill you. Ooh! love you. Look how overprotective he is over you. He used to be like that towards me too. This is too much. Kenya. I need a moment. I'm gonna book a hotel. You see, son, going against mama never turns out good. You should know that by now. Okay, mama. Hello? Ho, the things that you have lied about. You testified against your own mother, Timmy? Oh, you shot a man, Tammy. How did you get this number? And what phone are you using in prison? Every time you piss one of your kids off, they're going to expose your shit. Savon gave me your number. Are you using a free road phone? Let me call up there and talk to one of them correctional officers and tell them to do a cell search on you. Tamika, you gonna let your mama sit in jail? Okay, wait till I get that address. What you gonna do from prison, Tammy? Send me a letter? It'll go right in the trash. I'ma send your ass a dead rat because that's what you are. Remember what happened to Versace when she snitched on me? What happened? while you're being a confessional gangster on this state phone. Go ahead and incriminate yourself even more. Tell me what happened to Versace. You bitch. Tammy, give it up. You are right where you need to be. Can't shit hold me, Tamika. Not even this prison. I'm big Tammy. And I'ma get out this bitch. Wait, did you just tell me that you're planning to escape? I would not be an accomplice to this. I'm about to call up there and tell them that you are planning to escape so they can throw your ass and say, oh, you Bitch. You convict. I hope you know your brothers and sisters hate you for what you did to me. Mm-hmm. When is the last time the COs did a security check? I need them to know that one of their inmates has possession of contraband. <laughs> they do security checks every 30 minutes. And how long has it been since the last one? 29 minutes. Stay on the phone with me a little while longer, mama. Tamika, what could you possibly have to say to me after what you did to me, hmm? Tell me, I'm listening. Wait. You bitch, you trying to set me up so when they pass by and do their security check, they see me on the phone. If and when you get out, Tammy, I hope that you start acting like the senior citizen that you are. At your deteriorating age, you should not be out here shooting people. At night, is that a cell phone? Down on my luck. Bitch. Back against the wind. Wait till I get out. Try to make it. No way to win. Give me that shit and put your hands behind your back. Come get it from me. You're the problem. I'm the problem. You are.
Care to explain? Sure. One word. Kyrie. <laughs> it's big Kyrie, bitch. What about Kyrie? You have failed him as a mother. Kyrie is horrible. And you ask why we put our hands on him, it's because of his mouth. And because you don't hold him accountable for the shit he does. And he's damn near 17 years old. Savon, you love pointing the fucking finger. And you love pointing it the fuck back at everybody but yourself. Boy, you better lower your tone before I jump across this counter and fry your ass like some fried chicken. I got the flour, mama. Start frying his bitch ass. Ma, do you not see that you let Kyrie get away with everything? You too, Savon. How? Oh, well, let's see. I didn't touch you when you got a bitch pregnant at 17 years old. I didn't touch you when you decided to get several bitches pregnant shortly after, and I had to be captain abort. I didn't touch you when you laid a bitch down in my bed. I haven't touched you since I found out that you got yet another bitch pregnant, and I still have not touched you even after finding out that you got that same bitch my address. She was my fiancé, mama. Fiancé, Beyonce. I don't give a fin up. Like I said, you're the problem. I blame you for what I've done to these women. You enabled it. Boy, you sound dumb as hell. I didn't tell you to go populate the Arsenal. You didn't tell me not to either. Brian, am I lying? Mama's the reason we act the way we act. Oh, I forgot she got your bitch ass on payroll. What did she give back to you, your phone? Or is she letting you see the little college senior that you're not supposed to see? Oh, oh she didn't know. I thought I told you to get rid of that predator. You did. Mama turned 18 in four days, and he's only 24 years old. And so damn old to be dating you. Now get rid of him before I get rid of him and your phone. Okay. So then there's no need for me to tell you that Savon has some heat coming your way. Now, I may be a cold-ass bitch, but I ain't never been scared of no motherfucking heat. So what exactly is coming my way? Mm. Gosh, I can't remember. But I think I might be able to remember if I can still see my boyfriend. You done made that grown ass man your boyfriend? I'm calling the cops on his ass. And tell them to stick around because you gonna need them for my special guest. Savon, if you gave my address to get another person without my consent, they are going to need a search party to find your body. Ha ha, they gonna need one for you too. Because I'm going to hide your body real good. Grandma, you're out of jail. You like having bitches pop up and fuck up my relationship, mama? Well, I can play that game too. What's wrong, Tamika? You look like you just sent a ghost. Savon, not only can you get the hell out of my house, but you can take your grandmother with you. Ma, you started this by taking me away from everything I love. And now I'm giving your ass back because it's clearly too much trouble keeping your grown ass. Look, Tamika, Savon is the least of your worries. You need to be worried about me. Oh, I promise you I'm not. All I had to do was call 911 and tell them that a convicted felon is refusing to leave my house. And there goes your freedom again. Former convicted felon. Get out of my house, Tammy. Ain't your ass on some type of house arrest? Ma, can all this just stop? Why won't you support me being with Kenya? Because you don't respect me. Oh my God. Like, she's having your second grandchild. I don't care if she was having my fifth. Versace, what are you doing here? We cool, but that does not mean you can come to my house unannounced. Yeah, that's cool. But I heard that this old ran through ass bitch was here, so I just had to come pull up. Tamika, you got this green alien fighting your battles now? Why are you still here? You know what, don't worry about it. I got something for your Since ass. Since when did you become a calling the police ass bitch? You just can't be my daughter. You know what, you ain't even worth it. I just stopped by to say that I'm free and I know where you live. And those two things alone are enough to make you one miserable bitch. 
Come on, Savon. I just feel bad for Brian and Kyrie. Savon, shut the fuck up. You have left my house countless times and brought your ass right back. So do me a favor. Don't come back this time. Something you want to get off your chest, little girl? Take no rules when it comes to a bitch. I don't even like you, sis. I'm going to put the Jews on tour, come back to the hood with the projects on my wrist. I'm going to go toss big mama a brick. Night she was talking her pay off the rip. If it ain't media, family, and close friends, I ain't got to get off my dick. I don't know why these niggas got girlfriends waiting on me to come fill in this spot. Niggas won't be a new Glock on my hip because they know real bitch. Get ass, grandma. Get ass, grandma. Curry, who is this? Brian, none of your business. Then I'll make it mama's business. Yeah, right there. Right. What did it say? She said she ain't going nowhere. Curry, if you don't get rid of it, our mother will kill it. No. You want Savannah to get to introduce the people to mama? I want to do it too. Mama don't even take you seriously. What makes you think she's going to take her seriously? It don't matter. Get out of my face before I show mama your Tinder account. Mm -hmm. I'm 18 and grown. All that snitching shit you like to do, it doesn't phase me because I can do what I want. All right. You want to hit that? She's not speaking fucking English. So is she challenged? You know, mentally? No, not gay ass. She said no, she's not gay ass. I'll be right back. Mama, just the person I wanted to see. I want you to meet my girl, Gonorisha. What's her name? Gonorisha. You know, like gonorrhea. Spit that gum out. <laughs> Curry, what did I tell you about bringing strangers in my home? I'm actually out of here, girl. Curry, get this mush mouth ass bitch out of my house right now. Oh, uh, Curry, I'm a room. As fuck and disrespectful and violent. Oh, what you gonna do? Translate. She said, what you gonna do? I'm going to grab you by your face, break your jaw, open your mouth wide, and remove the gum myself. Ma, I really like this girl. And you be letting Brian and Savon date whoever they want to date, and then you be letting them in the house. Son, you know how I know you're not ready to date yet? You are currently dating a girl named Gonorisha. That tells me that you do not value yourself. I'm like, okay, I like that bitch. Okay, I want your fucking ass. I like that bitch. You ain't time right now. You understand me? I don't know what's up. I just did, you little bitch. Kyrie, I have a headache. I had an interesting day at work, and I come home to my son, who has a tongue-tied-ass bitch in my kitchen. And I'm still calm. Believe it or not, I'm still calm. I don't stay calm. I'm going to keep the volume noise down in my house because I like it quiet nowadays. So remove her right now before my purse... You need your job. Hey, Kyrie, 
I understand you don't like to clean up after yourself, but we share a shower and it's dirty. So go clean it. Why the fuck are you on my face talking about a shower you can go clean yourself? Because I'm not the only one who uses it. But you're the only one complaining about it. Because I don't want to step in a shower where there's a brown ring around it, you dirty ass little boy. That's your shitty booty ass leaking after you done got turned every which way but loose by your man. Check it out. I'm not going to keep arguing with you over being clean. Get your ass up and go clean that shower. Make me get up, Brian. Make me get up and go clean that shower. I ain't gonna touch you, Kyrie. Cause you know I ain't nothing to fucking play with. Now go find you something safe to do. Do I need to go get mama? Do you feel threatened? Is your life in danger? Do you feel like you need your mommy? How do you think it's okay to not clean up after yourself? Brian, have you ever considered that you might be the dirty one, not me? I clean up after myself every time. Start cleaning the booty juice. The booty juice that you leave in the shower. Ma, I am having a hard time getting Kyrie to clean up after himself. Ma, Brian is having a hard time cleaning his booty in the shower. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That bathroom better be clean by the end of the day, and I don't care who does it. What I need to know right now, though, is why does my garage smell like weed? Mine wasn't me. You can drug test me. You can drug test me too. Okay. So if it wasn't you too, then it was somebody y'all brought in my house. Miles. What? Kyrie. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll keep the bathroom clean. It, it was my fault. We can drop this. No, hell no. We ain't dropping shit. Who the fuck is Miles, Kyrie? I was just wondering how many miles your car has on it. Y'all think I'm stupid? Y'all think I'm dumb? Y'all think I'm clueless? Yeah? Like I ain't been raising y'all for the last 18 years? Like I don't know every trick in the motherfucking book? Because I know what you said. I don't know who the fuck Miles is. But y'all better find out who the fuck been smoking in my garage. We wasn't smoking, mama. Then find out who it was. Or I'm playing Candy Crush on both y'all's asses. Ma, y'all parents be saying the freakiest stuff. The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! Aunt Salula, can you stop? You're scaring the boys. Demon. 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 Please do not call my son a demon. Was he ever baptized, Tamika? Did you drown him in holy waters? Kyrie has been baptized. I remember. I remember. I remember because the water turned black. The water turned black and I told the preacher, drown him! Drown him, Satan! Drown him! Let him loose! Let him loose! Revealio. Ah! 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 What language is that, Satan? It's from the book of Harry Potter. Cut his tongue out, Tamika. Aunt Tallulah, thank you for your visit. Um, I'm sure my mama will be real happy to see you. Mm, no, I, I did not come for that she demon. I came hoping and praying that my Lord and Savior, Jehovah Jireh Nisi, will provide me a place to stay. No, I, I do hope you find that place. I have found it, amen. I have found it. It is here. Here where? Right here in your home, my dear niece. Let him use you. Oh, he Auntie, you cannot stay here. Hi. No whipping form against me shall prosper. Hey, it's me, the weapon, and I am prospering. What happened to your house? Oh, the devil evicted me. He evicted me out of my own home, Jesus. But my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, led me here to you. That is a blessing. Amen. Well, I'm going to lead you to a homeless shelter. Big tight vagina. I mean, to, oh, Jehovah Jireh. A homeless shelter, Tamika. Really? Expect a drama. You be quiet, demon. Your serpent tongue is no match for my holy clit. Oh, my God. Aunt Tallulah, please. I mean, my, my holy tongue. Ooh. See, Jesus, this demon has influenced my mind. Jesus, forgive me. I need you.
Expelliarmus. Aunt Lula, cut this bullshit out before I call my mama and tell her to come get you. And I believe you owe her some money. <clears throat> the devil thought he had me for a second, but I am strong, Jesus. You had me for a second, demon. What room will I be sleeping in, Tamika? A homeless shelter. Are you going against God's plans right now? You know what? I'm not. I'm not. He he touched me. Bless her. He touched me. Bless her, Lord. Use her. Use her right now. Use her, Lord. Jesus, 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 Lord. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm not going to put you in a homeless shelter, Auntie. No. No. I, I, I am going to put you in an abundance of a hotel for a couple of nights until you can figure out what the fuck you're going to do with your life because you cannot stay here. No, God. No, God. I believe you. Oh, I rebuke it, demon. My name is Voldemort. God almighty, Tamika, this is blasphemous. This child should have never been born. Get out of my house, Aunt Talila, before I beat your ass. I'm getting a sign. He talking to me. He talking to me. The Lord talk. Oh. Oh. He asked me, the Lord has asked me to ask you where your brothers and sisters live at because surely one of them will take me in. Hmm. Pick one. I'll send you right their way. Hey, Mom, I'm about to go to the mall with a friend. Are you asking me or telling me? Mama, I'm 18 now. Technically, I don't have to ask you to go anywhere. Oh! Is this friend coming to pick you up? No, he's going to meet me there. Oh, so you must be walking. No. Uber? No. Taxi? I was going to see if I can use your other car. Hmm, so let's start the fuck over. You were telling me that you were going to the mall. Not asking me. But now you want to see if you can use my car to go somewhere that you did not ask me to go, but told me you were going. You want a way to control me so bad. Control you? Sir, it's my car. I don't have to let you use it's it. It's just sitting in the garage collecting dust. And it will start to collect fucking spider webs if I want it to. You know why? Because it's my car. You know what, mama? We got off on the wrong foot. Yes, you got off on the wrong foot. Let's start over. Yes, you start over. Mom... May I use your vehicle to go to the mall, please? Hmm. Brian, I would love for you to use my car. However, it does not have any gas in it, and you do not have any money to fill up the tank. So, no. That's fine. I'll find my way there without using anything that belongs to you. Ma, you're going to take that. Okay, little boy. You want to be Savon so bad, so I'm going to treat you like him. It is 3.40 p.m., what time do you plan on returning to my house? Before it gets dark. I'm sorry, I don't quite know what that means. Could you please provide a specific time since you're so fucking grown? I sure can. The sun goes down at 7.30 p.m. I'll be back at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. I will be locking my doors at the end of the business day. Okay, and what time is that? You're so fucking grown. You don't know what business hours are, Brian? No, Tamika, I don't. Humor me. God almighty. I will be locking my doors at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. That's fine. I'll just call Kyrie to let me in. And I will break every finger that touches my doorknob. Ma, you ain't even have to do all that. You already know I'm not about to let his ass in. As a matter of fact, when he pulls up, I'm going to come get you. Then I'll spend the night at my friend's house and return the following business day at 7 a.m. My house won't be open until 9 a.m. Then I'll go get some breakfast. And then I'll come. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go find a ride to the mall. Don't get kicked out my house, Brian. I don't intend to, but you should really learn how to not make everything an argument. You can start by creating a healthy communication with your son. You should really learn how to respect your mother. Your type of respect is me asking you if I can breathe. I'm not doing that. Then you'll suffocate. <sighs> Mama, you set the tone for this conversation. I simply just matched energy. If you live in my house for the free, then not a tone or energy better match mine. 
Okay, mama. I'll see you later. Breathe, mama. Am I the problem? I just can't be the problem. I'm a damn good mother. I raised y'all right. I don't do anything wrong. Y'all are just so disrespectful for no reason, and I don't understand why. It's not you, mama. You ain't do nothing wrong. Brian is the problem. I think you should kick him out. Ma, long time no see. We wanted to come and introduce the baby to you. Ma, how long are you gonna hold a grudge? Tamika, girl, every time I see you, you having a meeting with one of his bitches. Can I help you? Yes, I didn't get a child support check from you this month. You don't get those anymore. We had an agreement six months ago. Mm-hmm, six months ago to be exact. And you have violated our agreement. What was the agreement? Nothing, Versace, you're dismissed. Uh, now Savan, you know you can't dismiss me. So check this out, Kenya. The agreement was he's been laying pipe for the last six months and I haven't had him on child support. Now, that was for six months, just in case you can't add or subtract. I can add and subtract just fine, thank you. And if him playing house with your desperate delusional ass keeps money in our pockets, so be it. Girl, I will beat the fuck out of you. Tamika, if you're gonna remain silent and let your chihuahua talk for you, me and Savon can leave. He will need to pay his outstanding balance before he leaves. Or I can expect him at my house tonight. Tamika. Why are y'all here? Oh, you can speak. Against my better judgment, Savon wants to introduce you to our daughter. Okay, and if I was interested, I would have made an effort to come introduce myself. Ma, are you serious? Savon, you cannot disrespect me over and over again and think that you can repair our relationship with a newborn baby. Right, what would it take for me to get my mama back? I will always be your mother and you my son. But right now, mama needs some space, okay? Congratulations on the baby. I'll come around eventually. I'm not satisfied with that. I don't give a fuck about you being satisfied, Kenya. Who are you to me? The mother of your grandchild. Girl, that don't mean shit to her. Trust me. You want me to accept this girl when you have snuck her into my home and my life? Snuck? See, that's your problem, Tamika. You keep treating Stevon like he's a child when he's a 20-year-old grown-ass man, not a little boy that you can't seem to let go of. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, let's be real, Tamika. You want Savon all to yourself. You are an emotional incest mom who can't let him go. Oh, you dumb gullible bitch. He hid you from the world. He is still actively sleeping with his baby mama. He still lurks on his ex Jasmine's page and he's a mama's boy. Hmm. That is a lot to process. I start pulling shit out my ass too. Excuse me? Okay, because watch where the hell you're going. Savon, this was a bad idea and a waste of time. I think we should leave. Yeah, yeah, you should definitely leave. Where is the baby anyway? Not that it is any of your concern where my child is, but she is outside in the car. By herself? Of course not. She's in the car with our dog. And the AC is on. With, with a dog. Savon, where did you find this brainless ass bitch? Give me the keys. Um, what are you doing? She's fine. She's in the car with the dog. Don't you go anywhere near my child. Girl, sit your dumb ass down before I put you on your back. Give me them damn keys. And you wonder why I treat you like a child. You won't leave a new one in the crowd with a damn dog. What the hell is wrong, child? He's my dad's service dog, who is more than capable of watching a child. I don't know, Savon. You really hit rock bottom after you left me. I'm sorry, after I left you. You got bitches out here leaving babies in the car with dogs and shit. Throw ghetto out here. Ma, I need a favor. 
Give the spare key to my house back because you ain't going to be walking in here like you live here. Mom, please. Kenya and her mom are outside and her mom wants to meet you. Savon, why does your shit keep spinning the block? I'm over here minding my business stress-free and here you come with some more of your bullshit. Come on, Mom. Put all that to the side for a minute. Please, listen. Her mom doesn't know anything about my life, okay? All she knows is that I'm with Kenya and that I come from a very rich and successful family. You do me this favor and I will leave you alone forever. No, you should have been did that. And what the fuck are you expecting me to do when she walk up in here? Say hi. It's simple. Just act like you're a good mother. Boy, I'll slap the dog shit out of you. Mm, this is a very nice home. Do you own it? Oh, you're Kenya's mom. Huh. I was wondering who chose not to swallow her. I'm Savon's mom. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you. You have raised a very respectful and responsible young man. Oh, is that what you think he is? So about the wedding bill, how are we splitting it? I'm sorry, what bill? Oh, I'm sorry. Savon mentioned that you would split the amount with me and my husband. He did. And, and just how much is this wedding? Oh, it's only 25000 25000 Surely you can afford. Yes, Tamika, surely you can afford it. Oh, my dear God. Forgive me for assuming that you had that type of money. I am so sorry. Um, don't worry about it. Me and my husband will take care of it. No. I got it. 25K? That's chump change for me. So, nigga, whose BMW was that outside, girl? What happened to the Nissan? Someone in this home owns a Nissan? What's wrong with a Nissan, Katrina? Oh, nothing. Nothing. You just didn't strike me as a woman who was on a budget. Oh, well, I'm a bougie bitch on a budget. And my Nissan Maxima with the peanut butter guts wasn't cheap. Hey, Versace, not now. Can you leave? Oh my God. You're a broke, unemployed baby daddy. How dare you speak to me? If I may ask, who are you to him? Mom, she's just a family friend who is obsessed with Savon so much, she thinks her kid is his. Bitch, what? And you both entertain this little girl? What the fuck do you mean entertain, bitch? I'm the mother of his child. I can go and come as I please. Oh my God, Savon, I am mortified. Kenya, explain. I am so confused right now. I can't explain it, mom. She is literally delusional. They haven't even had a DNA test yet. And Savon told me that the baby might even be his homeboy Rashad's baby. <gasps> Really, Savon? That's the picture you want to paint of her? Okay, Savon. I have been sparing you for Tamika and because I no longer want to be the petty baby mama. But today, she's been activated. So, I'm going to fuck your whole world up, starting with your finances. You both be blessed and I'll see you in court. Oh, Katrina, you look so shocked. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but my son is a bum who dropped out of high school and has two kids. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's a deadbeat. But he's my son, and I love him. And he has the potential to be great. He just chooses not to. Well, it does start at home. Katrina, your daughter left your grandchild in the car with the dog. Are you talking about my husband's service dog? It's a service dog. It was okay. You're right. It does start at home. I pray that baby makes it to one years old. Kenya, let's go. I'm definitely not paying for a wedding for you and this imposter. Uh, me neither. Kenya, you can do so much better, girl. Savannah is not the one. Karen, who gave you our address? I know every white person in the world. My girlfriend, Molly, who lives two streets away from you, watched you guys move in. How did she see us move in two streets away? Well, us whites, we are very superior. And we have, we have cone senses. Oh. We can sense when blacks move into the neighborhood. So when you guys pulled into the driveway, her cone senses were activated along with every other white person in the neighborhood.
My mama will be back any minute if you'd like to wait for her to come fuck you up. I just came to talk to her. Karen, now you know my mama does not talk shit out. I gave birth to a child one year ago. Oh, congratulations to you and my dad for bringing another child into this world. I promise you we don't give a fuck. And I got pregnant around the time Savon came to live with us. Karen, my brother is about to become a married man this weekend. You are not about to mess that up for him. I don't give a damn about who he's about to become. I need him to submit to a DNA test. He ain't submitting to shit. Leave and never come back. Your father would not let me back into the house until I get this taken care of. Now please, where is Savon? Uh, girl, let me call you back. I knew I was itching to beat a bitch's ass today. Karen, what the fuck are you doing in my house and how did you find out where I live? Well, you're aging quite well for a black woman. Bitch, I slapped the Botox out of your face and you are aging like spoiled milk. Ma, listen, you need to hear this. You broke down, busted ass Barbie. How did you find out where I live? <sighs> like I told Brian, my girlfriend Molly, she... Uh, no, don't say it again. You trying to die? I gave birth one year ago. You came here to tell me you had a baby. So you about to get fucked up because you wanted to share that with me. Mama, I think you should hear her out. I ain't listening to shit, Brian. And why did you let her in my house? You should have called the cops. I know all the cops. They would have allowed me entrance to the home. But you don't know my Glock 30. Nor the bullets that will rain on your head. Oh, God. You and your black people guns. And your black threats. I need Savant to submit to a DNA test. What the fuck are you talking about? It's no secret that I was sleeping with him a year ago. Ah, you sick bitch. And the fact that Michael didn't divorce your ass infuriates me beyond reason. Look, Michael wants a DNA test for him and Savant. And I cannot return to my home until I get it. Oh, that sounds like a personal problem. You listen here, you ghetto Shaniqua bitch. I will make it your personal problem if you do not tell me where Savant is. Karen, you trying to get stretched out on my floor? I ain't put a bitch on her back in a minute, but you giving me a reason to. Where is Savant? Bitch, who is Savant? Brian, go to my safe. The code is Savant's birthday. Once it's open, bring my Glock and three bullets. Just in case I missed the first time. This isn't over. It can be if you wait a few more seconds. Oh my God, what did I do to deserve Savant? And he getting married this weekend. Like his shit just keeps popping up. Go pour me a glass of wine. Can I have some? No. Savant, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. It was peaceful and quiet while you were not here. Brian, stop talking to me. No, you have made mama's life a living hell while you were here and then while you were gone. So why don't you just do us all a favor and disappear for good? Ryan, leave me alone with your fruity pebble having ass. Not fruity pebbles. Come beat me up. You already know that I will hurt you real bad. Are you stupid? Close your mouth before I hit you dead in. Please do that so mama can have a reason to kick you out again. Savon, you're a fucking failure and a disappointment. Not a disappointment. Savon, stand up. Stand up and I will park you right back in place, bitch. Mama's focus needs to remain on me. Me going to college and just my overall success Something you could not achieve because you were out here in these streets being a failure. So while you are here, stay the fuck out of my way and be seen and not heard. Oh, y'all can't even fight for real. Put your heads up. Ryan, why is your eyes closed? You need to be able to see where your fist is landing. Oh, Savan. I am so tired of you. Not even two seconds in my house and you're already fighting with my children. Ma, I'm not in the mood for your son's mouth. Did I ask you what type of mood you were in, Savon? Do I look like I give a positive fuck about what type of mood you're in, Savon? All right. Okay. Sure. Uh, don't do that. Don't get smart. Don't get cute. 
Because I'm not in the mood to be taking care of a grown ass man who runs back to mommy every time shit gets rough around him. You ain't making it no better by throwing it in my face. Then make it better. Get your shit together. You're 20 years old. And? You're a whore, Savon. You're out here getting everybody pregnant, including your stepmother. Mm. That's not my baby. For your sake, I hope so. Because your daddy, that's one man I would not be able to get up off of you. Hello? Hey, baby. Hey, Terrence. How are you? I'm good. Is, uh, is uh, now a good time to talk? Um, give me a few and I'll call you back. My oldest just moved back in and I'm just trying to get him situated. Okay. Okay, that's cool. I just, uh, I just wanted to let you know I enjoyed our week that we had together. I did too. I'll call you later. All right. My who is Terrence? None of your damn business. It is our business because the last dude you brought in here was hitting on Brian. I think his name was Travis and uh, Brian would watch him take showers and uh, what else did they do, Curry? Come on, Savon. I told you that in confidence. What is he talking about, Brian? I don't know, Mama, but you know Kyrie is a pathological liar. I am? Brian, you ain't let that man bend you over while our mama was at work and... Stop playing with me, boy. Stop playing with me. Jesus. You wanted mama's focus to remain on you? Well, um, you got it. Mama! Savon, please, it's Sunday. It is, and I've been spending the last three days trying to figure out why I didn't get my full paycheck. Because you just started working, stupid. Shut up, ho. I worked 40 hours for the last two weeks. That equals 160 hours, so I should have got $160 on my paycheck. Oh, my God. Savon, what's 40 plus 40? 80. Thank you, Jesus. Good job, dumbass. What's 80 plus 80? 160, ho. Outstanding. There might be hope for you after all, high school dropout. So, if you worked 40 hours for the last two weeks, then how many hours have you worked total? Uh-oh, did I lose you? Just a few more questions and you can stop trying to use your brain. Let me see the checks, Savon. All right. Okay, so there's taxes. Right. There's insurance. Mm -hmm. And then there's child support. No, what? Child support? Hell no. Fuck no. Mama, Versace left me with $100. I can't live like that. Savon, I don't know what to tell you. You owe her back child support. I don't care about none of that shit. Then neither do I. You're a grown ass man. Go and get a second job. Hmm. That's all right. I know what I'm going to do. And can't nobody take shit from that paycheck. Okay, go ahead. And let me find out you're selling drugs. I better not see a fucking dope fiend, crackhead, cokehead, or airhead approach my house. All right. Now... I do want to introduce y'all to my new man, Terrence. Is he gay? No. He's divorced from a woman with four kids of his own, and he's a lawyer. Mama, you don't really have the best taste in men. Greg. Poor, broke, cheated on you with your own mother and is currently incarcerated. Our dad. Cheated on you with a white woman who had three of his children, then turned around and slept with your son, and he is still married to her. Travis. Undercover brother, confused about his sexuality, tried to get with your own son, but not once did I oblige. That is yet to be determined. So are the DNA results for Karen's baby. Enough, okay? Terrence is not like that. He is the family man, and like myself, he's just ready to get back out there and start dating. And he just pulled up, so don't embarrass me. Terrence, these are my sons, Savon, Brian, and Kyrie.
let me just say that I have three boys and I know how overprotective they are over their mother. So I get it. When did you meet my mama? Where did you meet my mama? Why did you meet my mama? Mm, scratch that. Is the divorce finalized? Or are y'all just separated? Do you still be messing around with your ex-wife? Yes. My divorce is finalized and I don't speak to my ex-wife. Unless it's about the kids. Mm-mm. Savon. Why did y'all get a divorce? Did you cheat on her? Did she find out you were gay? Carrie! How about I get to know y'all? Savon, I heard you needed a lawyer for your child support case. Come see me. I'll get you squared away. Oh, well, shit. You all right with me, Terrence? <laughs> what are your kids' names? Drew, Christian, Chantel, and Ethan. Hmm, I don't know them, and I know every kid in this town. What school do they go to? <laughs> I'm sorry, Terrence, that they're asking for too much information. That's enough, okay? Me and Terrence are about to go out. We'll be back. So, Terrence, when does my mom get to meet your kids? Uh, soon. What is soon? She didn't waste no time introducing you to us. I'll set it up so that all of y'all can meet them. You ready, baby? I'll grab my coat. I know a Christian and Chantel. I just don't remember where I've seen them. They're twins. But I don't know where I've seen them. But I'm going to figure it out. Ma, I need to talk to you. Every time y'all say y'all need to talk to me, y'all end up pissing me off. It's nothing like that. I just realized that you were right. About what, Brian? This being a phase. What being a phase? I'm not gay no more. What, what do you mean, Brian? Yeah, because you gay as hell. I might have been confused. Confused? There's literally no such thing, son. You like men. I did, but no, I don't. Okay, how does that work? It don't, mama. He gay. I'm straight. Straight full of shit. I met someone. Oh, what's his name? Her? Her name is Brooke. Brian, you be doing it in the booty. Kyrie! Hell no, mama. That man is not confused. He likes men's. I did, and now I don't. Look, as my family, y'all need to support my new sexuality. I'm straight. It's offensive to those of us who are actually straight. Brian, help mama understand. I don't understand. I no longer like men. I like women. It's as simple as that. What inspired this decision? My girlfriend. What the fuck? Please, when I bring her in here, do not embarrass me. She's here! Yes. I'll be back. Brian is such a gentleman. How so? He opens the door for me. He pulls the chair out when we're at restaurants so I can sit down. Dad is not making straight. How long have you been dating my son? Three months, and I already love him. I, I love you too. Oh God, you sounded so uncomfortable saying it, Brian. I meant what I said. Up. Oh. There he go. Welcome back. Brooke, what do you do for a living? Nothing. My dad is the mayor of the city. My mom is the president at the University of Houston, where Brian is trying to go to school at. There we go. That makes sense. Because it wasn't adding up. Secure the bag, son. <sighs> What's going on? Nothing. My son is so straight. He talks about you all the time. My brother is so straight. He has your picture as his screensaver on his phone. My brother is so straight, he makes me look gay. Out of all my sons, Brian is the straightest. Oh, 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 oh. you're taking it a little too far. So you're gonna help my baby get into the University of Houston? Yes, he's my boyfriend and I wanna secure his future. I got a question. What's your views on the LGBTQ community? That's a good question. I don't support those type of people. Oh. Yeah. Shit. I mean, it's an abomination. A man liking a man, a woman liking a woman. God did not sign off on that in the Bible.
Every time I see a gay man, I get disgusted because he is clearly confused. Clearly. Honestly, the world would be a better place without them. I'm just saying. Anyway, we're off to the mall in my new Maybach that my dad just bought me. Maybach. Maybach music. Come on, babe. It was nice meeting y'all. You gonna cry in the Uber or the Maybach? Brian, you do not have to change your entire personality for that girl. Did you forget that you had a four-year scholarship to Harvard University? We can get you into another school. Mama, Harvard is too far. I want to stay in Texas. And I got this. I'm good. I just got to get accepted into this school and I don't ever have to see her again in life. Bullshit. Her mom is the president of the university. If you break up with her or worse, she finds out that you're actually gay, you're done. Over with. Out of there. Bri? Who is Bri? Oh, it's short for Brian. Come on, babe. Jesus. Hey, Tamika, I know it's your weekend with Louie, but I kind of want to take him to Disneyland. No, I didn't have time with him last weekend because I had to work, so I'm getting him this weekend. Tamika? Savan wouldn't like the two days he has with him this weekend. Is it not possible for you to reschedule the trip? Tamika, do you work this weekend? Yes, I work this weekend. Right, I thought so. You won't even be here to see my child, so why can't I have him this weekend again? Because I'm his daddy and I want to see him. And I know you see me sitting here. Tamika, did you explain to this clown that he has supervised visits only and you are the supervisor? Talk to me about my child. All right, I'm off Monday and Tuesday. When are you coming back from Florida? Hell no, nah, mama, fuck everything she got going on. Sperm donor, stop throwing a temper tantrum, okay? Me and the real father are trying to have a conversation about when you can babysit. Man, your petty ass only doing this because you know Kenya dropping off my daughter this weekend and you don't want my son to meet his baby sister. I don't give a fuck about none of that and you already have trouble babysitting one child. Why would you want to babysit two? Fuck you, I know how to handle two kids. Oh, that's enough. Stop. Versace, if you're back by Monday, can we get him then? I heard my grandson in distress. I had to just come and see if everything was okay. Uh, Mama, everything is fine. You can leave. <laughs> Savannah, is everything okay? Hell no, nah, Grandma. She's trying to keep me away from my son. Oh. Well, it doesn't sound like everything is okay, Tamika, but don't worry about it. I'll step in. I have a restraining order on you. You are not supposed to come within six feet of me. <laughs> I don't know who restrain is. But if the police officers can't keep me away from you, what makes you think this restrained bitch can? Mama, I don't have time for you today, okay? I have the situation under control. Can you please leave? I don't think you do. Savan, when are you supposed to have Louis? I'm supposed to have him this weekend, but she talking about she want to take him to Disneyland on my time. Oh, well, why not make it a family trip? Savan, I'll buy you tickets to take your son to Disneyland this weekend. And Versace... You can meet them there. It was just supposed to be me and my son. Well, see, I, I don't really give a fuck about that because it's not your weekend. It's his. He can't watch my son without me or Tamika present. See, my patience is very thin and I really hate repeating myself, but I can tell that that hair dye has been fucking with your brain, so I'll repeat myself once more. Savan will be taking his son to Disneyland. You are more than welcome to attend. And he can't bring that baby he keeps trying to force on me and my son. Don't tell me what I can't bring. You can't bring unnatural hair color. How about that? I know that you will be in Florida with Savon and his children this weekend. And if you give him any problems while you're there. You threatening me after you just shot me is not the smartest choice, you dumbass. Versace, I don't need to threaten you. You know, you've seen it. So, Savannah will be taking his children to Disneyland this weekend, and you can tag along.
Tamika. Ma! Tamika, I actually came over here to tell you that you got bigger problems to worry about than Versace and Savan not co-parenting. Like what? You sent my sister Tallulah, who has mental health issues, to your brother and sister's house. Now, everybody except Terry turned her away. Do you want to know what she did when she got in Terry's house? She burned it down because they don't go to church. I'm sorry that happened to him and I hope everyone is okay. But Terry should have known not to let your crazy ass sister in his house. Yeah, well, I agree. And I told him the same thing. But your brothers and sisters still hate you for what you did to me. And they were very upset when they found out that you gave their addresses to your psycho auntie. So as y'all's mother, I have to make this right. And I felt it was only fair that I gave your address to them. Mama, no, you didn't. That's it. That's it. That's it. I do pray that y'all work it out. Okay, Mika, so your brother and sisters wanted a chance to confront you about giving their address to my crazy sister who has mental health issues, who also burned down Terry's house. So I brought them here to confront you. Y'all don't gang up on y'all sister, okay? One at a time. Ready, set, go. You know what I don't understand? You wanted to be left alone. After accusing our mother of lying about having cancer, um, after testifying against her in court, you wanted to be left alone. You moved away. You disappeared off the face of the earth. So we gave you that. We gave you that. We left you alone. And then you somehow thought it was a smart idea to give your crazy aunt your sibling's address? Tallulah is not just crazy, she is psycho, and I didn't want nothing to do with her, nor did I want her around my kids. Tamika, why would you give her their address? She burnt your brother's house down. Terry, she burnt your house down. Your sister is the reason your auntie burnt your house down. I'm suing you for whatever I can sue you for. Okay, I hope suing me brings you peace. I really do. Um, I'm sorry that you let that deranged woman in and she burned your house down. You sent her there. Terry, did I open your door and let her in? <gasps> you might as well have, bitch. <gasps> I wonder how many breaths you had to catch after saying that one sentence. <gasps> I've been hearing that you've been talking shit about me, Tamika. Say it to my face. Okay, you're fat. <clears throat> Bitch, I am a fully figured woman with love hair. Nancy, please. We came here to confront Tamika about your house burning down. So let's stick to that. <gasps> no, I'm about to get in her ass. All that shit she was talking... Come around this counter, bitch. I'm staying right here. You are more than welcome to bring your round ass over here if it's not too much of a struggle for you, babe. Oh, shit. It looks like talking alone has you hanging on for dear life. Tamika, don't talk to my wife like that. <laughs> Terry, you brought this 800-pound endangered species in my house. 800? I weigh 535. And you are still one hefty bitch. Mika. What did y'all think was gonna happen when y'all came here? We thought that our sister would have a little more remorse for what she did. Okay, I'm sorry for giving y'all's address out. But Terry, nobody told your dumb ass to let Aunt Tallulah in your house. <gasps> it's the Pringles, I mean, it's the principal. Oh, Terry, she's hallucinating. When was her last meal? Are you hungry? I have some Pringles in my pantry. Go to hell, you disrespectful asshole. Let's go together. Let's race and see who gets there faster. I'll even give your fat ass a head start. Tamika, that woman burnt our house down. My children could have been in there. My grandbabies, Tamika. Thank God they weren't, but you let her in, Terry. That's all you got on me is my weight. But my husband loves it. I'm sorry. That very weight that you say my brother loves? Put him in the hospital because your big ass thought it was a good idea to ride him. <laughs> Baby, you said you had a bad cough. That's why you went to the hospital. Yeah, he had a bad cough because you crushed his lung. You tried to ride him, girl. That's not true, baby. Okay, this isn't this isn't going anywhere. I've already apologized. What else do I have to say to get y'all out of my house? You can come around this counter and get your ass whooped. Nancy, girl, 
You look like you swing in slow motion and you're a breath away from a heart attack. Terry, I don't even think it's safe for her to get up and walk out the house. We might have to have her airlifted home. <gasps> oh, hell no. She gasping for air. Let me call the ambulance. And then call the police since you dated men who prey on little boys. Oh. Oh, here we go. Come on, Nancy. Get her. Get her real good. <gasps> I heard your ex-boyfriend was trying to seduce your son, Brian. I don't know where you heard that from, but let me tell you what I heard. I heard that Terry was looking to buy you a treadmill. It's, it's for me, baby. It's for me. Hmm, okay, interesting. So is the double membership for Planet Fitness also yours, Terry? Or is it for her too? She does need it. Baby. Do you think I'm fat? Terry, you look that fat bitch in her eyes and you tell her she is a big bitch. Tamika, enough! Does anybody else have anything to say to me? It's, it's for me, baby. It's for me. Damn it, Kyrie. Mika, you need to apologize to Nancy. Mama, I am not apologizing to that big bitch. Okay. You wouldn't apologize, so why would I? Because, Tanika, I went to jail, and that alone is enough for me to change my ways. I don't want to go back there. <sighs> Just be the bigger person. You are the older sister. Hell no, I ain't doing that. Nancy is literally the bigger person for the both of us. Okay. Give me your phone. For what? Because I asked you for it, Kyrie. Now give it here. If a cop pulls you over and tells you to get out the car, are you going to ask why or are you just going to get out the car? I don't have to explain myself to you, boy. I pay for that damn phone. Oh, that is incorrect. You pay for the last phone. My dad bought me this one. So no, you can't have it. Kyrie, I will cut all the power off in your room if you do not give me that damn phone. For what, mama? Today was the first day of school. How was it? Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't know because you didn't go. Your teacher called me today and said you missed school today. And I would ask you, where were you? But all you're going to do is lie. So give me that damn phone. All right. All right. I'm going to let you have this one. But when do I get my phone back? When you've completed an entire school week. Too easy. Unlock it. Oh, that's an invasion of privacy, Tamika. You don't have no privacy in my damn house. And call me by my government again, and I'm going to break this motherfucking phone. Now unlock it. Grandma. Tamika, you're doing too much. Tammy, shut up. Tamika, you tend to forget that I'm your motherfucking mama. Don't get put on your back in front of my grandbaby, okay? All that attitude you got, you got it for me. The difference between you and me is I will fuck you up for real. Now watch your motherfucking mouth. Okay? I already told you you're doing too damn much. You got the boy's phone. Now let it go. Who the fuck you think you talking to? Hey, baby. Now, 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 who the hell is this? Tammy, this is my boyfriend, Terrence. Ah, how you doing, Miss Tammy? I heard some wonderful things about you. No, you didn't. Stop all that damn lying. I know my daughter told you I'm a piece of shit, Mom. <laughs> I got a question for you, though. Are you single? Bitch. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, do you want to be? Mama! Oh, go cry about it, bitch. Shit. Hey, Terrence. I finally met the twins. You know, your, your son and daughter, Chantel and Christian. That's good, Kyrie. They seem real nice. We got real acquainted. Shared our life stories with each other. Yeah, my son Christian, he uh, he told me that you and him were behind the mall today and y'all were smoking weed. Now, Kyrie, you know damn well your mama is extra as hell. Kyrie, 
Don't get wrong, we will discuss this later. You don't value your life, do you? Mm, Christian also mentioned some other things y'all did that were pretty illegal. I just uh, can't put my finger on it. I'm, I'm going to my room. Damn it. All of a sudden, I can't remember what he told me. Maybe I'll remember in the future. Hey. Michael kicked me out. Finally, fuck. That took too damn long. I have nowhere to go. So the first place you thought to come was to my house? Girl, get out. My family disowned me after I got pregnant by Savon. Mm -hmm. Allegedly pregnant by Savon. <sighs> Look at this black baby, Tamika. He looks just like Savon. He's your grandchild. Fuck. I want to see it on paper. But until then, get out of my house. I have nowhere to go. Karen, you got money. Go get yourself a hotel. I don't know what world you live in where you thought you could roll up in here and ask to stay in my house. What? Michael cut off my credit cards. All I have is my car. That is not my problem, nor are you going to make it my problem. Now, please leave my house before I call the cops. You're going to put me and a one-year-old on the street? Karen Jackson, I didn't put you anywhere. Your husband did. And where is the child? He's in the car. I didn't want to wake him. <laughs> I made some mistakes. I know we haven't seen eye to eye, but my son shouldn't have to suffer. Ma, what the hell is she doing here? Karen is trying to stay here with us. Hell no! Come on, I have nowhere to go. Your son is in the car. I don't give a fuck, that ain't my baby. And Ma, what is this? You should have been shut this down. Savon, that baby looks just like you. It could be my dad's. Boy, your father had a vasectomy. I don't know how many times I got to tell you that. Now, until we get a DNA test that says otherwise, the baby is staying here. Now go get him. He's in the car. Mom! Go get the damn baby out the car. Oh, my God. Thank you. Karen, you can't stay here, but the baby can. We will be getting a DNA test. And if it comes back and says that Savannah is not the father, I will be calling CPS to come and pick up the child. <laughs> I'm still breastfeeding, but okay. Thanks anyway. You have one week to get your shit together. And if you pull any racist bullshit or go anywhere near Savon, I will throw you out leaking from your titties and all. What if Savon goes near me? Bitch! Okay, not it. Thank you. I'll go get my stuff out the car. I haven't heard from my man all day. Let me call him. Terrence, your phone is ringing. Yes, I'm looking for Terrence. And why is Pizza Hut looking for Terrence? I'm sorry? This phone number is saved as Pizza Hut. Who is this? 
his wife of 19 years, and the mother of his four children. You mean his ex-wife? <laughs> I know that's what he told you, but it's not true. You see, I don't remember signing any divorce papers, nor do I remember him asking me for a divorce, Miss Pizza Hut. And that silence is the sound of your world falling apart. <laughs> and it's about to come crashing down on yours, bitch. Would you mind letting Terrence know that Pizza Hut is two months pregnant? Yes, a moment of silence for your world that just fell apart. I'll be in touch. Ava, have you seen our, um, what are you doing with my phone? Pizza Hut called. They said they're pregnant. <laughs> 